Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrakes from SmartHerd. Welcome to your 22nd Android app development tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you the explicit intents codes. And this is the continuation of the previous tutorial. So let's not waste time and jump on to our Eclipse for coding. Now here in Eclipse, I have created the project explicit intents. Now I have named the package name as com.shrakes and I'm having one main activity and an activity underscore main dot XML. Now what we are going to do is to create another activity, right? So let's right click on the package name, go to new, then here create class, right? Hit finish, right? Now we have created the activity B. Now let us set up our activity B by extending the action bar activity. Here is the action bar activity. Double click on it. Now, in the last tutorial, we saw this main activity as activity A. So let's rename this activity, right? So as to avoid any confusion, right click on it, go to refactor. Here you will find the rename, right click on it, then just type activity A. Now while renaming, just make sure that you have just checked this update references, right? Hit on finish. Let's create an XML file for this activity B. Now go to layout, new, then hit an XML file, right? activity underscore b you can make it whatever layout you want to give right no props next finish right this is how our activity b will look like now in activity b just drag and drop a text view just double click on it and write welcome to activity b right now let's override the function on create method onc control space right inside it write set content view again control space r dot layout dot activity b right now let's go to our activity main dot xml that is the layout of activity a then drag and just delete this text view drag and drop a button double click on it change the id to b method one method one right drag and drop another button double click on it again drag and drop another button double click on it method 3, method 3, right? So I have changed the ID as B method 1, then B method 2, then B method 3, and the text as, and the text on the button as method 1, method 2, method 3, right? Now let's go to our, now let us define the on click attribute, right? On click, go to activity, right? Copy it, paste it here, then again paste it here, type control shift F, now go to the activity A, right? Now define the method, go to activity, right? Hit control space, make it public, right? Now here, let's use our switch statement, v dot get, v dot what get id, case r dot id dot. When the user clicks on the first button, that is method one, it is going to execute this case. Then similarly for button two, this case, then button three, this case, right? So we will specify the codes of three methods that we discussed in the previous tutorial one by one, right? Now the first method was what, intent, intent i equal to new intent right start activity right now within the parameter we have to specify what activity a dot this activity b dot class right now similarly here also our second method intent i equal to new intent start activity sorry let's make it j i we have already used right now here in the second method, we, I have to specify the string that I have used in the manifest file. But till now, in the manifest file, I have not declared the activity B, so I will declare it later. Now here, that our third method, intent, right? Now, k dot set class name, package. Our package is what? This com dot shrinks, just copy it and paste it here. Then class name com dot dot activity b right start activity k right now for the second method we have to specify the string in the manifest but before that we have to specify the activity b in the in our manifest file as I told you earlier when I was teaching about the manifest file our manifest file is actually the summary of all the components that we use in our application so we need to use what our activity b in our manifest so just go to the ap application tab here in the application tab just scroll down right here you can find the activity a is already here right now now just click on add 
click on the create new element right now here the activity is there just just select it hit ok now here you will find the activity just have a single click on it then at the right side here is the name just browse it now select the activity B that you want to add here just hit ok and just hit on save so we have successfully added the activity B let's check out the codes in the manifest.xml right here we have successfully added the activity B in our manifest file now now again just click on it just click on add right just click on intent filter right now again in intent filter just click on intent filter hit add right now we want to define an action here hit ok let's give it a name shrakes.smartherd.activityv you can give the name what, whatever you want to no props hit save now add a category right go to name you will find the category default here right just click on it then hit on save now check out the codes in the android manifest.xml now we have successfully created the activity with an action as shrakes.smarter.activityb and the category as category.default right now just copy the string control c now go to activity a then do what inside the case 2 inside the intent just paste it right now these are the three methods so our three methods codes are completed here right now let's save it and run the application yeah so our application is running now let's click on method one right welcome to activity b now go back let's try method two now again welcome to activity b right now let's go to method three right all the three methods that we discussed in the previous tutorial and the codes in this tutorial is working fine so hope you guys got something out of it you understood the codes well so thanks for watching guys this is Shrek from SmartHerd signing off and catch you guys in next tutorial so stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video and have a good day thank you.